This is a little uh, three-cylinder radial compressed air engine uh, I built uh, using uh, castings for the uh, <clears throat> main engine frame that I uh, bought from a fellow in Germany. Um, the rest of it's all bar stock. The uh, cylinders are made from uh, brass round. Uh, pistons and rods are made from uh, aluminum. <clears throat> the uh, inlet tubes here are made from uh, just brass tubing. And the propeller is made from um, about one-tenth inch thick uh, steel that I uh, cut it out with a bandsaw and then uh, used a sander and uh, belt sander and uh, file to uh, get it to shape. <clears throat> the pitch on the propeller was uh, attained by putting uh, one end in the vise and then using a crescent wrench to twist it slightly. I did that on both sides uh, uh, pretty evenly so it's, uh, the, the propeller spins with no, no discernible wobble. Um, it's a fairly simple engine. The uh, air is supplied through this tube here. It comes into the bottom uh, in, uh, through a hole into the crankshaft uh, chamber. Uh, there's a flat milled on the crankshaft so that it communicates air from that hose over to these inlet pipes as the uh, <clears throat> crankshaft turns. Then inside the cylinder at the head there is a um, spring-loaded ball valve in here. The, Typically the, uh, the spring is on this side, the ball's over here, so the spring keeps the ball pushed up this way so that the air can come out through the cylinder, come out of the cylinder through the hole and out the exhaust until uh, high pressure air comes in through this pipe that, move, that pushes the ball over this way, closing off the exhaust and admitting the high pressure air into the cylinder which pushes the piston down. Then of course, <clears throat> once, it's, once the piston reaches bottom dead center, the air supply is shut off, the spring pushes the ball back, and it, it's ready to exhaust on the other way around. Um, other than that, it's pretty simple. Um, <clears throat> these are made from solid brass and then bored out to the right diameter. As you can see that the cylinders are attached to the casting by uh, clamping screws. Uh, there's a split right here in the cylinder, and then these are 2 by 56 clamping screws that tighten down on a shoulder on the, on the bottom of the of the cylinder. So that's it. I'll uh, <clears throat> start it up and we'll see how she works. First we'll take it down to a kind of a slow idle here. about as slow as it'll go. Uh, the spring-loaded ball, ball uh, valves in there require a fairly substantial amount of air from the inlet to push them to the side, so uh, this engine typically won't run on anything less than about 15 to 20 uh, psi. Let me speed it up a little. I've got it sitting on this towel so it doesn't vibrate off too bad. at a pretty fearsome speed. That's about the top there, I think. Ah, uh, maybe not. That's about top end. And there's the air compressor, so we'll stop it there.